Hey YouTube, Jay Harris checking in. Well, today's Monday and I just had FedEx drop something off. What we're looking at here is the second go around from Milwaukee Tools. I, might, I believe this is my chainsaw. Notice the great big hole here. This side of the box. Big oil leak. <laughs> Oh my gosh, what is this thing? This is just ridiculous. Ridiculous oversized shipping box. All right, uh, well, let's do something here. I am going to do an unboxing and a test to see if I actually got back a working saw or if Milwaukee once again just sent some crap. Uh, let's see, how can I do this? Uh, all right, we'll just set that right there. Yes. Which side of this thing is supposed to open? Deflated plastic bag crap. At least I got my little. This is a scrunch. It's short for screwdriver wrench. At least that's what they call it. So scrunch. That goes in the bottom. Goes down here. Okay, you see it. That's the bottom of the chainsaw. Let's see here. All right. So, uh, oh God, these people are stupid. All right. So, um, In their service warrant deal here, so let's see, M18 fuel chainsaw warranty. Oh, this shows up. So they put, once again, gave me a bar. Oh, then they gave me a chain and a scabbard. All under warranty. And uh, so, I mean, these guys, Okay, got a bar and a chain and a scabbard, which I totally didn't need. It wasn't a part of the service request. So here we go. This is 12 amp battery, fully charged. Let's put it on the saw. Okay, safety, thumb release. And as usual saw is dead as hell all they did is put they didn't even, they didn't even read oh, these people are just idiots they're just freaking idiots Milwaukee you suck your service sucks you can't read What the hell? Okay, all right, so, okay, maybe it's a bad battery. No, that's not it, but here's another battery. Fresh battery. Plug that in. Saw is dead as hell. It's a freaking paperweight. It's just, just incredible, incredible. Just absolutely incredible. Let, let's do just just. I'll just grab another random battery here. This, of course, you know this is enough to run the saw, but not whatever. So, oops. Yeah, fully charged battery. Click that in there. Dead as hell. Dead as hell. 
saw does not work. They, they, they still haven't done a damn thing. Just incredible. Just absolutely effing incredible with these morons. <laughs> the, just, just incredible. There are no words, Milwaukee. There are no words to the, your gross incompetence. All right, well, uh, I'm going to... Uh, it, 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 it's time to make some phone calls. We'll, we'll catch you up to date later. Hey, good morning again, YouTube. It's Tuesday, May the 11th, and I'm finally getting an opportunity to take the next steps with Milwaukee Tool Service. Uh, so far, it has been crap. I'm sure you can go back. I have another video. Uh, I've sent my saw in twice now and just got it back, and it still does not work. They didn't test it at all. It's the most asinine thing ever. So uh, I am about to uh, reach out to Milwaukee and figure out what the hell. I'm going to send it back to them again. So here we go. Milwaukee Tools Customer Experience Support Center. For English, press 1 or remain on the line. To hear menu options in Spanish, marque 2. Canadian customers, press 3. Introducing our new and improved Milwaukee e-service, your 24-7 self-service solution for quick, convenient repairs. Submit repairs at any time through our website with free FedEx shipping from thousands of drop-off locations across the U.S. Track your tool shipments to and from our repair facility and receive repair status updates directly to your inbox. Easily manage repair submissions and service history through our new service order dashboard. Experience Milwaukee e-service. It's just a click away service.milwaukeetool.com for the location of the nearest authorized service center and hours of operation. Please visit us at www.milwaukeetool.com slash service. If you are a Milwaukee authorized distributor, dealer, or service center, press 2. If you are a consumer and not an authorized distributor, dealer, or service center, press 3. To dial your call may be recorded for quality assurance purposes. We are excited to introduce Milwaukee Connect 2.0. Search all Milwaukee products and seamlessly place your orders in a shopping cart environment. Check product availability, pricing, and have order and shipping notifications sent direct to your inbox. The ability to download packing slips, invoices, and account statements will stream. Thank you for calling Milwaukee Customer Experience. My name is V. How may I assist you? I'm sorry, what's your name? V. V. Hi, V. My name is Jay Yurish. And I'm calling in re reference to a uh, service order, Sierra Victor 290-6758. All right, let me go to our service orders. All right, may I get that service order number one more time, please? Sierra Victor 290-6758. All right. All right, and how can I assist you with this? So uh, I just got the saw. Uh, FedEx dropped it off yesterday, and so I got it back. And for the second time, the saw still does not work. You put a freshly charged battery on it it's dead as a doornail and that's the same problem i've sent it in now this makes two times it's gone in and uh on the notes here 
they they replaced the bar, they replaced the chain, and they replaced the scabbard, which I did not ship with the saw just to make it you know less uh, prone to be damaged, and plus those parts were not needed to resolve the problem <laughs> of the motor not working. So uh, apparently the technicians don't read the notes or something. I mean, this is this is number two going back in. They put parts on there that aren't even needed. Um, I'm sure you can see the, my original complaint or uh, customer states notes or whatever. Yeah. So, uh, okay. I definitely see that in here. So, what I'm going to do here, sir, is I'm going to um, get all of this information and send it over to them. Um, and what I'm going to ask is if there is any way that we could um, get a replacement. Now, I won't issue the replacement for you today because orders right now are taking about a month and a half to ship out. Um, so it is a lot faster if our repair if our repair facility does handle that. Um, so give me just a moment while I while I do a little um, not a little but <laughs> while I send this information over to them in writing. Okay. <clears throat> all right so now that um they have all of this information from me where i'm giving them the service order numbers um the two previous service order numbers that this tool was on what i'm going to need um for you to do is to send this back in okay. and i'm going to give you um the previous service order number and where it says other like when you're putting the issue uh-huh right in boomerang tool boomerang tool mm -hmm. boomerang tool which that means that you know the tool is just being sent right back to us um and put in the service order numbers that it was on so i have um you have the most recent one but the previous one from april was sc two eight eight zero four seven nine Two S Sierra Victor two eight eight zero four seven nine. Yes, sir. Okay. Not working. Okay. Um, and then that way, um, what once once they receive my information and um, your tool, they will be on the lookout, and hopefully, they could just issue a replacement. Okay. Okay. All right, so I'm sending this over to them now, um, and like I said, just um, just send it on back to us, and they're going to have that info that I sent them. Okay. Okay. Well, I'll gener I'll um, get back on the Milwaukee site and generate the uh, deal, and um, 
and uh, stick that boomerang tool and then and the previous or the initial service request number in there. So that's the only thing that will be. Uh, and in fact, I might even because I, I I have grave concerns that they don't even read that. Um, so I might even get a piece of blue tape or something like that and write and stick it on the saw in, in a couple of places. <laughs> Yeah, so what is what is the um what is the issue that you're having? So I can actually write it in um my statement that I'm sending them. It the saw does not work. You put a fresh battery on it, multiple batteries, you squeeze the trigger, it's dead as a doornail. Okay. I, I, put on the tool. I mean simp the simplest way to put it would be bad motor. <laughs> that info in here um, and I'm sending that this information goes to their supervisors so um, they will know <laughs> what's coming back okay okay well um, I will uh, get this thing boxed back up I'm gonna put it back in the box that you guys shipped it to me in and tape it up real good and uh, get it out the door uh, today all right sounds good I'm gonna put this in here tool um, be arriving sometime this week. All right, sounds good. Well, hey, is there anything else I can try to assist you with? Uh, no, ma'am. I think uh, I think we're good to go for the moment. I really appreciate your All help right. and attention to this issue. You are very welcome. No, and I appreciate your patience. I got my little one over here screaming. <laughs> All right. Well, thank you, sir. We'll definitely take care of that for you, okay? Okay. Thank you very much. Thank right, you. Bye-bye. Bye <laughs> Okay, so now I have a boomerang tool because it keeps coming back to him like a boomerang. <sighs> well, if they want to send me a brand new chainsaw, that'll suit me just fine since they seem completely unable to even simply throw a battery on it, which every tech that works on the Milwaukee tools at their bench should have an M12 and an M18 battery sitting there where they can throw a battery on whatever tool they're working on and do at least a quick trigger test to make sure it works because it's obvious that they didn't do that before. So I'm going to go box this up and uh, I'm going to we'll, uh, fade to black here and I'll take a picture of it before it slides in the box. So, all right, we're ready to ship. I just got to figure out how to get this saw into that box with all their garbage and uh, see if I can make it go back. Fun times. Well, folks, number th here we go with round three. I am using the box that they sent it to me in. I don't know why they can't have a more appropriate box. This one is it had a gash in it. I've taped it. Layers of tape on there. Yeah, whatever. We're gonna give her a whirl. Off she goes to FedEx. 